Did you think that if you took this computer and just shoved it in some back room for 20 years that it would be like it didn't matter? My emails were still on that, that computer and you read my emails. Look, I was scared to open it too, okay? I was, but the difference is that I did. Okay? And instead of just hiding myself out in some dingy little pawn shop, I actually went out to find her. I don't even know why I did that. I guess... I guess I hoped that you would be there. But you weren't. Because you ran away. Just like my dad did, and just like the rest of them. Like mine, too. You went to find her, Michelle. I mean, I felt like I had to. Right? It couldn't end here. I don't know if anyone has ever cared about me the way that Michelle cared about you, and I guess I needed to know what happened. Shit, I, I don't even know. Did you ever find out what happened to her? So who wants to cut the cake? Myself. Not only is it lonely, you can make big mistakes. I got this. One second thought. Oh, a little help. Oh, crud. Some things are just better when you're part of a larger group. Good. It's a much more interesting story. So, it is late. On the night of July the 14th, early morning on the 15th, one could say, and I, Riley J, am slumbering as usual underneath the bridge, when suddenly I'm awoken. Not as I'd originally thought by the thundering hooves of the dead, although if you do look at a map of the park and follow the- What awoke you? Some thing was being dragged over the bridge. So I listened, and as I listened, a paper Fluttered down gracefully right in front of my face. So I grasped it, and I felt that I was supposed to, to... I was, I was supposed... But there was no one on top of the bridge. So I stepped out to make sure. And a man burst out of the undergrowth, and I knew, I knew that I had to give it to him. Or maybe I had to not give it to him. When he read it, he shouted, Hallelujah! And he began chanting the name Paul. Does that mean anything to you? Because to me,